so hey guys this is Trevor here so today I'll be talking about my Amazon internship interview experience or uh, how do you apply for an internship at Amazon and what are the tips and tricks to crack Amazon internship so it all started back in November when I when I came across this link uh, surprisingly on Amazon jobs so uh, I I went to my friend and said that hey dude uh, I have this opening at Amazon with this job ID can you please refer me and he he was very very happy to refer me so I got this referral from one of my friends at Amazon and then I waited I waited I waited for 15 days 20 days and I did not get any response but eventually after I guess 25 days I got a response with a coding link that hey this is the coding link I think you can appear for it so I waited I waited I, I appeared for it on the second last day of the deadline and eventually after three days of appearing for the test I got the interview call now uh, what did the test composed of the test composed of 30 MCQs now when I say MCQs those were data structures based on data structures based on C++ uh, when I say data structures uh, the MCQs were based on time complexities stacks uh, queues uh, predict the outputs and all those stuffs so and the next section was of two coding questions and entirely there were 30 mcqs and two coding questions and the total time allotted was uh, 90 minutes and there's there's no parameter like if you complete early you will get an internship at that spot no so if you clear that coding on you will have direct interviews so i appeared for the interviews but before that i had this two coding uh, questions attempted and i did 30 mcqs i don't know how many of them were correct but i did them so when i went to this coding uh, around like i got this uh, mail that we have a coding round after three days so I went to this uh, interview round in Hyderabad where there were 250 people and I, I had a talk to more um, like not most but we had a talk for I had a talk to 50 or 60 people and everyone did two out of two coding round they're not sure about how many MCQs so the key point over here is whenever you get a coding test link from Amazon make sure you do all of the coding questions then only you get a call I've also heard this from other SDs too next thing we uh, we had 50 people uh, waiting for interview so the first round went on for four hours so since there were 250 people they were just judging on problem solving skills they're giving one problems if you're able to solve it you go through to the next round or you're out of there so they gave me a question which is based on dynamic programming i cannot share the question but then because i'm not allowed to so i, I was able to solve it within 20 or i think it's 25 minutes the time allotted was 45 minutes so I was able to solve it and then they asked us to wait so out of 250 uh, students uh, you'll be surprised to know that 220 students were said bye bye on after the first round so those guys went off uh, so disappointingly but then there were 30 people around left to interview for the second round and the we had our lunch and after that the second round commenced and uh, since there were only 30 people and there were a lot of bunch of interviews so everyone took one so I was taken by someone I think she was an SD2 um, she, she said that she had four years or five years of experiences so she asked me this first question like please explain your project so I was a bit scared because I did not have that good projects but then yes I had I had decent projects so I explained the project and she said okay let's not get into brief and let's start with the main thing that is data structure and algorithms she threw in a uh, binary search question so which I took around 10 minutes to solve and she asked me to code it and I guess I coded it up in two or three minutes because I've been doing competitive programming so I am fast at coding and the next question she came up with and maths uh, I don't know why because uh, it's a data structure round and she came up with a simple maths question so I think uh, the answer was up in two or three minutes next question was based on stacks uh, this this was a tough question and uh, it took me around I guess 12 or 15 minutes I don't remember properly uh, we had some time left and she said that we have 15 or 20 minutes left would you like to try one more so I said yes uh, why not so she threw up a question on BST and the implementation was really long so she asked me well, well, will you like to code it because we have only 10 minutes left after I throw up the solution so I said yes I, I can code it so eventually I coded it and she was happy with it she asked me to wait uh, outside before that I asked some questions like what to expect how will be the internship and all those stuff because I, I was pretty confident that I will be making it because I have answered everything unless and until there is some other criteria I think on the basis of interview I was not going to be rejected so I was happy outside and then after one hour the recruiter came up and 
he he told our names like there were for 12 or 13 people who got selected out of those 250 coming uh, pan india and so i was i was really happy i was really excited i called up my parents friends uh, informing them that i got this internship so guys uh, the takeaways uh, college name does not matters when you are interviewing if you are good enough people will take you second thing you must have projects third thing how do you prepare so to prepare i will suggest go to geeks for geeks run through their interview experiences now you must be saying hey striver geeks for geeks is is a, is a huge bunch of questions but then i'm not asking you to do all those bunch of questions what i'm asking you is to go through the interview experiences of amazon so one common thing that you will actually find is that the questions repeat once you have got through 20 or 25 interview experiences the most common thing you'll find is the questions are tending to repeat and you get an idea that if you go through all the interview experiences you will be good enough to crack it i'm not saying that because what eventually happens is when you go through interview experiences you are solving problems and eventually you end up solving 150 or 200 problems and when you are solving 150 or 200 problems man you're good at dsa and you are able to crack it fourth most important thing do not apply directly to the website it it actually gives you a very very lesser chance of getting a call so it's better you approach someone at linkedin he can be an intern he can be an sd he can be anyone just approach him for the referral and do not say him hey uh, do you have any openings at amazon do not say him this go to jobs.amazon.com search for the uh, your role that you like take the job id go to that guy hey sir can you please refer me for this and make sure that job was posted like in a span of 15 days it should not be a job id of 4 months 2 months old because they must have had for those job id so airfill will gone wasted fifth most important thing i've seen a lot of guys getting referrals and then pinging on the people over linkedin that hey i did not get any notice from the recruiter can you please approach the recruiter uh, so to make this thing very sure like anyone who refers you is only responsible for a referral because after that it's beyond design because if you get a ref- uh, if you get a call that's from the recruiter and he might reject you and then the guy cannot do anything who referred you so he is only liable up to it, providing you the referral once you receive a referral message that guy's job is done so this was this was all about my amazon internship experience so guys if you have liked the video press on the like button do subscribe and do press the bell icon because that notifies you whenever i leave a video right so thank you